Within the sparkle of Hollywood's golden era, one man captivated the world as the ultimate Santa Claus, yet chose a life shrouded in solitude. Join Facts First as we present Edmund Gwen confessed the touching reason he never remarried. Early Life Edmund Gwen's journey into the world of drama and romance began in Wandsworth, London, where he was born as Edmund John Kellaway, September 26, 1877. He was the oldest son at a time when such position held significant familial importance. He was initially groomed for a prominent role in the British Empire. However, the young Edmund harbored his own dreams. The call of the sea initially beckoned to him, a path that was swiftly curtailed by the specter of a relative's naval disgrace and his own visual issues. Moreover, his mother's foreboding dreams of maritime disasters ensured that his fascination with the ocean remained just that, a young man's fleeting intrigue. It was the magnetic allure of the stage, kindled by his admiration for the legendary actor Henry Irving, that eventually captured Gwen's imagination. Undeterred by the daunting prospect of entering the world of professional acting without financial backing or connections, he took his first steps into the industry in 1895. His career saw him clinging to the safety of disguises, perhaps symbolizing his reticence to fully embrace his chosen path. Amidst the backdrop of personal and professional tumult, Gwen's heart found solace in Minnie Terry, a member of the illustrious Terry acting dynasty. Their marriage in 1901 marked the confluence of two lives dedicated to acting. Though their marriage didn't last, it planted the seeds of an enduring affection, one that profoundly shaped Gwen's personal narrative. The War Years as the world plunged into the chaos of World War I, Edmund Gwen found himself swept away by the tides of history. His service to king and country pulled him away from the footlights and thrust him into the grim theater of war. Despite his poor eyesight, a hurdle that might have kept many men in safer roles, he proved his mettle and earned a series of promotions culminating in the rank of captain. The distance and strain of Gwen's military service took a heavy toll on his marriage. While he faced the horrors on the front, his marital bond with Minnie Terry, already perhaps frayed by the itinerant lifestyle of two actors, began to unravel. The disillusion of their marriage during the war years was a silent casualty of a global conflict. The actor threw himself into his work with a renewed fervor, perhaps finding in his performances a balm for the wounds of his lost love. As the 20s dawned, Gwen's career flourished, both on the British stage and in films, yet he remained steadfastly solitary in his personal life. Hollywood Success and Personal Solitude The glistening allure of Hollywood in the 30s beckoned to talents from far and wide. It was here that Edmund's career blossomed as well, as he began to grace the silver screen with performances that would endear him to audiences across the globe. His role as the endearing Chris Kringle in Miracle on 34th Street would immortalize him in the annals of cinematic history, earning him an Academy Award and securing his place as America's favorite Santa Claus. Despite this professional zenith, Gwen's personal life remained curiously static. Having settled in the luxurious Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills, his residence mirrored the glamour of his career, but his heart was shielded from romantic entanglements. He had built a fortress of solitude around himself, a citadel where the echoes of his past love affair with Minnie Terry still lingered. He navigated the glittering social circles of Hollywood with the same grace and charm that he had on screen, but he always returned to a solo existence. Friends and colleagues speculated, but the actor never publicly addressed his decision to remain single after his early marriage dissolved. His professional life was replete with accolades and acclaim, but it was the invisible undercurrent of his personal choices that added a layer of enigma to his persona. The gentle bachelor became as much a fixture of Hollywood as the characters he portrayed. As he continued to forge a legacy with memorable roles, his personal narrative remained unwaveringly consistent. The Enduring Bond with Minnie Terry The bond with his former wife, Minnie Terry, a scion of the distinguished Terry acting dynasty, was not one to be easily severed by distance or time. Although the marriage had dissolved during the Great War, the connective tissue of the relationship remained intact. Gwen's enduring attachment to Minnie was emblematic of a love that transcended the conventional bounds of matrimony. 
It was a testament to the connection so profound that even after their separation, he stopped seeking companionship from anyone. His singleness in the bustling social landscape of Hollywood was more than just a mere status. It was a silent homage to the woman who had once shared his life. The exact reasons for Gwen's decision to remain a lifelong bachelor after his marriage to Minnie Terry ended are shrouded in personal discretion, but it was clear that in his heart the embers of their shared past continued to glow. His career soared to great heights, but it appears he never found, or perhaps never sought, a love that could eclipse what he had with Minnie. This steadfastness revealed a romantic conviction that was as much a part of his character as the roles he played with such celebrated authenticity. The depth of Gwen's affection for Minnie was subtly reflected in the way he lived his life post-divorce with a genteel solitude that belied the conviviality of his on-screen personas. Was it loyalty, a hope for reconciliation, or simply the honor of a cherished memory that guided his solitary journey through life? The answer lies buried within the private musings of a man whose public face was always wreathed in a smile, but whose inner world remained a private sanctuary. In the golden years of his life, as he settled into a routine that balanced his career with quiet reflection, Gwen's legacy became one of artistic brilliance tinged with personal melancholy. His choice to never remarry stands as a poignant narrative, a silent sonnet to a love that never faded from his heart. Gwen's Final Years and Lasting Legacy as the curtain began to descend on his remarkable life, he found himself reflecting on a career that had brought joy to millions, and a personal life that had remained steadfastly anchored in the past. His later years were spent in the serene surroundings of the motion picture home in Woodland Hills, California, a haven for those who had spent their lives in the limelight and now looked for a tranquil respite. Despite dealing with arthritis and other ailments, his indomitable spirit never waned. He continued to perform, bringing his unique blend of warmth and wit to roles that became his final gifts to the world of cinema. His portrayal of a scientist in the science fiction classic Them and his comedic turn in The Trouble with Harry showcased his versatility and commitment to his craft until the end. In the twilight of his life, he grappled with the complexities of mortality, famously reflecting on the nature of death and comedy. His musings on the ease of dying, compared to the challenge of making people laugh, revealed the depth of his character and understanding of the human condition. Gwen passed away in 1959. He left behind a body of work that continues to inspire and entertain. His final resting place, after a touching rediscovery and reinternment campaign, lies within the Cathedral Mausoleum at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, a fitting tribute to a man who gave so much to the world of entertainment. Now it's time to hear from you. What does Gwen's decision to remain single after his divorce say about his character and his values? Should he have tried to find another love? Let us know in the comments section below.